Bill Wade is my father. Dad grew up here in Nashville and attended MBA for high school. Following MBA, he went to Vanderbilt where he was an All-American quarterback. He graduated from Vanderbilt in 1952, where he was the bonus draft choice for the Los Angeles Rams. After the Rams, he went on to play for the Chicago Bears and led the Bears to the 1963 World Championship, where Dad scored the only two touchdowns for the win, and then came back to Nashville after his NFL career. By using the professional football platform, he had an audience, whether he wanted it or not. and so. He had the attention of these young men who are aspiring to perhaps play sports. Well, he wanted them to know about something else they should be aspiring to have, which would be a personal relationship with Christ. I think in, in Bill's life, he was most comfortable when he was holding a football on a football field, talking to kids. And that's where he could get his message across. Bill Wade and some other men and athletes from Nashville flew to the first FCA camp in Estes Park, Colorado, I think back in 1956. They came back excited and invited Charlie Hawkins, Bill Smith, myself, and several others to the first board meeting. So that's how the first FCA adult chapter in the country got started right here in Nashville. But none of this would have happened without Bill Wade. When I think of Bill Wade, I think of a man who had a sole purpose in his life, and that was to glorify God whether he was working at the bank or uh, uh, giving a talk at an FCA national conference, he stayed on message. Bill not only helped me, but he helped a lot of other athletes because he, he brought out the good in you. You wanted to be good when you were around Bill. For me personally, Bill Wade was always a mentor to me. He was encouraging. He always smiled. I can hear his voice now saying, hey, Bill, he wanted to be around you. He just wanted to let you know that he was there and he would do anything for you. Bill saw the influence that athletes had had on him and he felt like he could be a good influence not only on the athletes that he played with, but the people that watched him. Here was this good looking, great athlete who couldn't shut up about Jesus. And it was so awesome and he gave of his time to FCA, he was always there. And when Bill Wade passed away, there was such an outpouring of love and support for Bill, but there wasn't really a vehicle to, to honor him. The idea came that let's do something a little more permanent that would help set missions and visions and goals for the next 20 years, not just the next two to five. One of the exciting things about this Bill Wade Camp Scholarship Fund is it'll scholarship so many athletes and coaches to attend an FCA week-long camp, which is life-changing, that ordinarily would have not been able to go. We saw over 700 kids go to FCA camp this summer. We want to ensure that we never turn away anyone that wants to come to camp. It's too important, it's too big of an impact in their lives. I have attended three FCA camps in the past. Yes, camp's amazing, but you got to change your whole mindset because being a Christian isn't about being a Christian just at camp. It's about being a Christian in your daily walk. So if you change your lifestyle to live that way every moment, then every day is going to be camp. That's the whole point in camp. <laughs> After I went to FC camp, I had the tools to help lead my school into knowing Jesus so much more. When I think about my time at FCA camp, I can vividly remember the experiences that I had 30 years ago. I can't remember what happened two weeks ago, but I can remember that. I have seen what it can mean not only to me personally, but to a lot of the young people that I've cared to these camps and seen what it's done in their lives and how they're different people when they come back from the camp. It would mean so much to Dad that if the financial piece were a struggle for anyone, if this fund could make the difference and someone could go to camp, it would really mean a lot to him. Today we're planting seeds for the next 60 years of the FCA ministry, just as those that founded it 60 years ago planted seeds then for the ministry today. It'll allow the local staff to spend more time being the hands and feet for Jesus in the community in the impactful part of their ministry where they can get out into the high schools and colleges and spend a little bit less time raising money. Investing in this scholarship fund is going to return double dividends because it not only uh, changes the lives of these young people, but it, it makes an impact on the whole community when they come back from a camp. If we can get that student 
that heart, if we can get that person to camp, they will be changed.